free in the moment of seeing, meaning in the very moment of seeing your own nature, in the first and second instant, or second afterwards, there is no thought. Thoughts have vanished. Is there anything more fantastic than being totally free of thought? But even, if, even if, though it's just that shock, because there's nothing else in this world that can totally bring a halt to thinking. You can blow up nuclear bombs and so forth and use all different techniques, but nothing really stops thoughts. But the very moment that you turn your attention towards your own mind, it is evident that it is simply an empty cognizance with no thing whatsoever. It's empty, but yet there is a seeing of that because mind is also cognizant. And these are a primordial, original unity in empty and cognizant. But the fault uh, happens that if, if we don't believe that this is really it because it's too easy. <coughs> There's nothing more easy than this, just like that. Okay. <coughs> Don't think of anything uh, having totally abandoned thinker and what is thought of. <coughs> In that moment you have already seen that there is no thing to say. <coughs> it's not something you gradually approach like a spirit entering. <coughs> This is what is mentioned by the word, the phrase, in one moment makes a difference, in one moment complete enlightenment. That moment, like this, is the unmistaken Buddha mind. Don't project outwardly, don't concentrate inwardly, don't keep a state in between. Totally give up any mental effort. This is what the, the old Manaki man called the, it's utterly or sheer emptiness. You don't need to block your five senses, not at all. Like this, but just remaining like this, everything is vividly experienced. But if you start to investigate a label, you are involved in thoughts. This is what the Prophet Sambhava said in the sevenfold supplication. Um, no matter uh, what appears uh, to your, in the realm or uh, in the field of your vision before your eyes, um, the world, the beings, and so forth. Even though experienced, just let it be without uh, uh, any fixation. In other words, disown everything. Mm -hmm. the, the dissolving of uh, subject and object is the pure form of the deity. Whatever moves uh, uh, or occurs in the realm of your uh, ears or any sound, all the all resounding, whether pleasant or unpleasant. Just let be. Uh, in the continuity of sound being emptiness, because no matter what resounds in your hearing is indivisible from emptiness. <laughs> the uh, empty resounding beyond arising and ceasing is the voice of the victorious ones. <laughs> Do not get involved in concepts leading or following. 
By leaving your thinking to itself, it dissolves naturally into Dhamma Kaya. The thinking means our thoughts of this and that. If you just let it be, it, it, it naturally dissolves. So to your present wakefulness, if you don't do anything to it, accept or reject, hope or fear, then it's enough. That is sufficient. So what you naturally need to train in is to not imagine something by an act of meditating, but also not to be distracted for even a second. Being distracted is the same as forgetting. And it is said on the path of distraction, the demons <coughs> lie in ambush. The moment you look towards and acknowledge <coughs> empty cognizance, that is called having recognized. <coughs> and then there is a continuity of uh, empty cognizance, which you don't need to fabricate in any way. Just don't forget it. Once you forget and start to think, then the continuity has, is lost. The moment you look, the empty cognizance is seen, recognized. And then allow the continuity of this seeing to uh, continue uh, or be sustained, but automatically. Then for an ordinary person, again, a thought occurs. Then you remember, oh, I forgot. Then again acknowledge or notice who forgot and simply recognize again. And again you arrive back in the state of recognizing your natural face. That doesn't mean sitting and uh, straining, trying not to be distracted. It's like, it's like ringing the bell once and the sound continues. It doesn't mean ringing the bell continuously. Once the continuity uh, fades, that means we, we start forgetting. And we, we, we get involved in the thought. Then again we notice, oh, I forgot, I got carried away. And then, all right, then look towards. And again, you are back in recognizing. And again, there is a natural stability in a continu continuous state of empty cognizance. We need to train in that short moments, moments many times. Uh -huh. We have learned to live in this life through training, we have learned how to behave, how to move about. First we have to learn how to eat. So, sorry, I get, this, uh, I get this wrong. We have to train while involved in the activities of, of, of this life. For example, while eating, we, we taste the food and we start to think about the food and then notice, oh, I got carried away. Again, recognize <coughs> while eating. In that moment, you arrive back vividly in the state of the essence. Then you, you forget again. It gets lost. Then you, while walking about, moving in your room, you can still recognize the Buddha nature. When you lie down to sleep, if you are a diligent, also recognize again. When you say it, recognize. Actually, there is no time when you are not allowed to recognize nature of mind. Even when you sit on, on, uh, on the loo. 
He has said it like this, in the naked state of the Dhamma Dato, which is unimaginable, uh, relax uh, the inevitable state of awareness. If, if a thought occurs, it arises from yourself and it dissolves back into yourself. If any thought that occurs is your own exp expression, it comes out of your own essence. It is only when forgetting the essence that the expression uh, takes the form of a thought. But the moment you recognize your own expression, which arises out of yourself, dissolves back into yourself, meaning into the expanse of the essence. This is what we need to train in, to become used to. There is no other meditation or object or act apart from that, as much as a dust mode even. But if we forget, get distracted, we are involved in thoughts. So please train in this. That is the practice. This is what the Buddha taught in the past. And today, uh, he has nothing to say besides this.